and everybody did you ever think that there would be this much of a brazilian presence in this sport here in the u.s no for sure no because but those kids have a dream to come here but it's not easy you know to come here but it's enough today you know 13 make the finals this year and they worked so hard to be here this year and they have a dream like us but it's not easy you know those boots getting hard and hard and but those dreams still there much more maybe 20 more when coming next year how many okay and somebody somebody will know the exact number is it 11 or 13 13 brazilians that are here and i ask you uh, you know your thoughts on it jb you ever just wish they'd all go home yeah i do <laughs> not gonna lie i went i went down there for the world cup that one year and I, I got to watch the rodeo the day before the world cup started and i was like holy crap if all these guys come over there we're done but you know my hat's off to them because when i went over there i realized what they felt coming over here you know, you, you don't understand the language. You don't, I didn't know what the hell was going on. I didn't have a clue. People were telling me where to go, what to do, where to be. And I couldn't read anything, couldn't understand anything. But but do and, you know you can buy a beer, huh, over there? Yeah, I can buy a beer. I, I was good at that. But, uh, you know, uh, my hat's off to them because coming over here and dealing with what they have to deal, you know, I got a lot of respect for them and they do a great job no matter what. You know, and, and that's an interesting point. That's something we don't, we don't talk a lot about. I mean, because we've gotten so used to these guys just kicking everybody's butts. Uh, we forget sometimes that they leave everything in their life, like everything they've ever known. You know how it was, champ. When you left, you came over here, you know, to say goodbye to your family and not know when you were going back home, but you have this dream and to watch it unfold like these guys have i i'm the i'm the biggest bull riding fan in the world i'll say it probably 25 times tonight but it, it's something we overlook and it's something that has to be respected because it shows just how bad these guys want it how intense they are uh, uh, talk a little bit about that renato about about leaving and coming coming to the u.s for the first time you know the first time you come over here like you don't know what's going on you just get to the airport you have to have some friend here to pick you up and bring you to some some apartment and start get on the booth and you just know how much money you had and how much money you're gonna spend you don't know how much money you're gonna make it then uh then that's why a lot of guys come over here and start spending all the money he bring over and he went back home and the, those guys say hey he's not a good bull right but he's a very good you know but some some those are more tough. If you got a cough and spend your whole money, you believe you can do good. Just go work and spend your money and, and a bull ride again. When you start winning, and you you're gonna be good like uh, like Silvano and um and uh, and Palermo or no uh, Fabiano. I was talk to to them in Denver when they just get over here and uh, I talked to Corey Lambert too for put Silvano to get on because Silvano was out on it. And I say he he was he is really good. He can can win here and make to the before tough. And Cody Lumber say if he is good, he gonna make it anyway. And he did, you know. And but in that time, those guys are to get on like 15 bulls and road at all and don't make a lot of money. They wanna go back home. And then I, then I tell them if you go back home, you are gonna be just make like uh, 50. 50,000 real a year, 100,000 real a year over there. You're not gonna make like million like your guys do here, you know, like American. Then, don't matter, if you ride in Brazil, all life, ride, win the best event, you're never gonna get, get a good life after you retire. You know, like here in the United States, I don't rode so many years, I rode just 10 years. Then I go back home and I don't, I don't worry well, about working. Life. Yeah, I don't worry about life. work. I just sit in a home and, uh, and uh, you know. Justin McBride, had, if, yeah, because, Justin McBride had the greatest comment of all time. When he won that million dollars, he said, I'm a rich cowboy. Period. That's it. You go home. Glaramy just said it. He said, he's a rich cowboy. You can go home, ranch, hang out, spend time with the family, right? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. You know, my dad, my mom get old. And I, I would spend like 10 years here to make money. And 
I know I'm not gonna have my dad and my mom for so long no more. You know, then I wanna go back there, enjoy, and spend more time with my family, my daughter, and give give whatever they wanna do, and then I have time to go do with them, you know? Because I have like four days in the road and three days in home. Now I'm gonna enjoy my family, enjoy my life. That's the biggest reason we love Renato right there.